Okay, the next important step to this uh, amazing mixed green salad is that we're going to do sauteed goat cheese. Um, you can pretty much buy any, uh, any store-bought goat cheese. Um, I prefer definitely an herb goat cheese. Uh, once it's cooked up, it has so much, uh, so much flavor and aroma that just kind of jumps out and grabs you. The next step in prepping our uh, sauteed goat cheese, we're basically just going to take it out of the wrapper. Um, I kind of like to form them in small patties, uh, probably about a third or a quarter of an inch. Um, definitely not in thickness, but in, uh, in size, uh, just because it's so, it's so flavorful and so good. So uh, this is uh, my first one that I'm doing right here. As you can see, I like to form them in uh, small patties. Um, and then we're just going to dust them. Just going to lightly dust them, uh, probably about four to five spins. Whenever doing sauteed goat cheese, you want to work with definitely a light oil. So any type of sunflower, canola, or even peanut oil in that factor. We don't want to use too much oil because then our goat cheese will actually uh, break its mold and it'll kind of go all over the pan. So I'm just using a third of a tablespoon, um, or I'm sorry, a third of a teaspoon of uh, sunflower oil. We have our, our goat cheese that's been lightly uh, dusted and Italian uh, breadcrumbs and seasoning. And uh, we're just gonna pop these on. Make sure our heat is low. Now, as you can see, these cook very quick. And it's since it's already cheese, we don't have to leave it on for that much. So we're gonna do probably about 15 to 20 seconds on each side, and they should be done. As you can see, they've already started browning a little bit around the edges, uh, taking on that nice golden color. And that's exactly when you know they're about done. So um, this is basically just to get them warm. You're not actually frying them. Uh, so they are about done. We're going to turn our heat off, let them sit for a moment, and moving on to our next step.